So first things first, before we install the unibody stiffeners, we have to remove everything that's going to be in the way, like our uh, brake lines or our uh, track bar, that's like on the driver's side, for example, right here. So like on a uh, driver's side, the track bar is going to be in the way. This will have to come off. The gear box, this gear steering box will also have to come off. Any brackets there for your uh, front bumper also have to come off. Your uh, brake lines will have to be moved away to the side. You can also put some sort of a shielding on them to protect them from getting burnt up or getting too hot uh, from when you weld around the area or clean up any of the undercoating or coating from the unibody uh, rail. So in the meantime, I'm gonna prep these. What I did was I would take a wheel brush, get these things all cleaned up from any and all contaminants and some sort of a surface rust since it was sitting in my box on the porch for or back patio for about two months and looks like it got some it had some rust on it just so a surface rust nothing to do with the metal being bad or anything like that so at this point I got it all cleaned up I'm gonna grab some primer get them all primed up and I believe that's gonna be the best way to go about it we have the reinforcement pieces primered. Uh, we're gonna work on removing the old arm control brackets here so that it can overlay properly over this piece because these are in a way. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I will cut it off from here and then uh, either pre-drill the load spots in these pieces. So I have to pre-drill out some of these load spots so it can come off easier. And then here as well. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're done doing all the rough grinding and everything. Went over with the die grinder as afterwards to kind of smooth things out. That way I can primer this over. Uh, then I will start mocking up the unibody stiffener on top of it. Okay, so this is how we have it all set up now. We used our C clamps to adhere the unibody stiffener to the unibody frame or frame rail that way we don't have any crazy gaps in between so I went and cleaned up all the paint all the way around the perimeter of the whole entire uh, unibody stiffener and also around the openings as well the driver's side was a bit more challenging than the passenger side on the driver's side I had to Cut this plate off a bit just because this right here, this little reinforcement plate for the track bar, I was kind of in the way. So I had to trim that up a little bit. And then, uh, for whatever reason, the piece here on top kind of went, up, went overlapped over here and then went down. So I had to just trim it back so we can put a nice bead on, on it in there. Other than that, it fit pretty well, I must say. They cut their stuff pretty good. 
So no, I got both of the sides welded ground. in. Ground down. Evened out the edges. On the driver's side, I already put it into the primer. Got a little too happy with the primer. Got some runs, but whatever. I mean, it's just it's underneath. I don't think it really matters. So now we're in process of assembling the suspension. So the first issue that we run in after welding the unibody stiffeners on, since they are roughly about what an eighth to so I think they said three sixteenth thicker or thick. So that means that the track bar bracket got moved out more. So now these two bolts right here they were not fitting so I had to take one of these guys right here and just uh, swagger them out just a bit because they, they were fitting but sideways like just just needed to be just a bit more that way that's just a small little thing of you have to take an account for when you're installing these uh, in the body stiffeners and that's it so that's all really to it <laughs> really anyways yeah like i said uh like i was making those little annotations on the bottom of the little b-roll video where you will do a lot of grinding there's going to be a lot of chiseling a lot of hammering so get ready for that it took me about two hours per each side so yeah uh it's not easy um for some of you probably even a little bit easier since there's going to be uh, more room to work around and things like that. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was useful. I tried to keep it as short as possible and straight to a point. So have a, you guys have a great day. And if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, peace.